Oh, this is such a stunning time of the day to see that beautiful, beautiful monastery. Glistening in the sun. It's a lovely morning here in Alcabasa and we have Harvey. And here we have Cassie. Here's Cassie, Pondego. Rescue, she's a beautiful dog, beautiful temperament. And over here we have Tilly, the black cat, who's a rescue from France. And Sasha, the, I'm not too sure, is she a calico? She's a rescue from Australia. So beautiful. Sasha's incredibly affectionate. And Harvey, oh, he's just the king, king of the house. Oops. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, the main focal point of Alcabasa is the Alcabasa Monastery. This place is incredible. It was founded in 1153 by King Henrique after the Battle of Santarem when the Moors were defeated in 1147. So it was over 860 years old. The doorway and the rose window are originals and the rest has been developed over the years but it is absolutely fantastic it's got an interesting history and it's well worth going in you can go into the church for free and on the first Sunday of the month you can visit the whole monastery for free otherwise it costs six euros to look around and outside the monastery you've got this lovely square where is a focal point for people to gather at the moment there's a ice rink over here set up for the Christmas period there's a Christmas tree there which looks lovely lit up. There's lots of cafes and bars along the front there where people sit and gather. We've got a carousel. Up on the hill there is the castle ruins, very pretty. And where we're staying is just up there with a nice view over it all. And then you've got Santa's Grotto down there. Wonderful. The interior. Bus. This is the ticket office for the monastery. It's free to go into the church, but the rest of the monastery, it's six euros from what we can gather. It's enormous. And these are the opening hours. I mean, the ticket office itself from the outside, it's beautiful. And now I can see why they've built the stairs, the metal stairs, because, oh my word, I don't know if you can see how worn away these are, building that ancient, no wonder. I'll play it safe. Breakfast time, and we've got all three cats on the table today. How wonderful. A delicious birthday breakfast and the really lovely thing is someone brought it for us Kay Forelli from Australia thank you so much Kay fantastic so for the sum of five euros twenty we've got all of this croissant mista a powdered juice mista and two galows ah so happy <laughs> perfect going up to the castello now El Cabasa Castello it's really quite impressive it was built back in the 1150s by Dom Enrique, who built the Alcobasa Monastery uh, on top of a previous 
fortification which was here a long time before that and um, it survived a couple of earthquakes and now that's why the reason it is in this condition but the Moors retook it in the 1190s and then it fell back into the Christian hands and the best part about it is this magnificent view over Alcabasar and the monastery there it's quite a spot Cassie's my tour guide she knows all the best places so I just follow her Is it fun? Was it fun? Oh yes it was. <laughs> Castle is lying in ruins now but it is one of mine and Cassie's favourite walking spots. Wow it's just so misty tonight. Can't see the monastery. Coming round. Okay we can just see the castle. Incredible. This was such a wonderful house set. Not only did it give us a chance to explore beautiful Alcabasa, but we also got to spend quality time with Cassie, Harvey, Sasha and Tilly. And the owners were so kind, they even left us Christmas presents. So it was just a wonderful experience all around. Some amazing old houses up this part of town. Enormous as well. Check out that shrine there. Cassie's enjoying having a little explore. Finally found a brilliant budget menu in Alcabasa. Check this out. The lead just went for the prato. The mixed grill. So there's plenty of meat in there. Um, chips and salad as well. $4.95 for that. Yeah, which is great value. And look at what I've got for eight euros. I've got a glass of wine. I've got a soup. I've got a dessert. And look at this plate. Mixed grill with rice and chips and salad. Delicious. I don't think we'll be hungry after this. We are sitting on the main square in Alcobasa, right in front of the monastery, in this nice little place called the Taverna Capador. And you can get a glass of wine for 50 euro cents, which I reckon is a pretty good bag. It's out of a box, of course, but let's try it, shall we? Mm, it's quite reasonable. It's quite sweet for a red, but I do like it. And a great location. You know how it is, you go into a place, the drinks are really good value for money, the people are really friendly. Before you know what, you've got another one. You've bought some food, we've got some salgados here, some pastries. One's got bacalao and the other one's got shrimp, one euro thirty each. They've given us some free peanuts. We're probably going to end up staying here the night. <laughs> I love the decorations. Apparently Alcabasa is famous for its pottery. A lot of fine examples here. And it all looks so nice at night on the top. The Christmas tree, the monastery, the carousel, and the Christmas lights. Something I've noticed about Alcabasa is that there's a lot of like art here in beautiful buildings. This is quite lovely. But unfortunately there's also quite a few places that are just sort of been left a bit. So it's it's an interesting mixture. Hopefully these beautiful old buildings will be restored someday because it would be such a shame to see them go to loss. How gorgeous! We're back at the Alcabasa Tennis Club because let's be honest it's the best value place in town. Well done Mandy for finding this. Right by the market, five euros for the midday meal. And look at that, you get, I've got the panado de porco at the moment with chips and salad, spinach soup, which is delicious, a dessert and bread, and then an extra 90 cents for the vino. So <laughs> five euros 90. What a bagging. Are you pleased with your meal choice, Mandy? 
it's amazing look at it i think it's a pork chop or a pork cutlet i'm not too sure it also comes with the chips rice and salad the same soup as lee of course the spinach wine and so looking forward to trying a delicious egg dessert so many here like to do with the convent and the monastery and the, the whole egg yolk white thing so looking forward to trying this oh and of course it's the third day of january i've got my sunglasses ready and i'm so hot it's really warm it's such beautiful weather thank you very much portugal because Alcabasa was a monastery town, monastery city, they used to use the egg whites to apparently make the habits whiter. I'd never heard of it before, but apparently it's a dumb thing. So there's a huge surplus of egg yolks, which we use to make delicious desserts. There are loads in town in different cafes. We haven't tried them yet, but how lucky we are that we can try this here as part of this amazing mini dodia. Mmm. It's like creme brulee but way richer and if you can see the delicious like burnt sugar sauce on top yeah it's just it's really lovely actually it's better than creme brulee sorry prices have gone up slightly 20 cents but oh my word it's still such amazing value there's the market over there the tennis courts just had our amazing meal there's a kiddies playground there's a camper van park up that way and I've been here for three weeks and it's the first time I've come near this beautiful pink building what a lovely little area yeah, look at this pink or salmon house here as well it's amazing so it turns out this beautiful building Camara Municipal del Cobasa and the woman inside was so friendly she showed me this leaflet which documents the beautiful buildings in Alcabasa that I think are run by the council and this one oh, it's so lovely it's it's stunning inside from what I could see this really is such a pleasant little plaza praça way in the distance don't know if you can see the yellow house it's up by us by the castle here's the we think the town hall and it's for coming around to this impressive building it is the tribunal apparently the courthouse very nice i've had some nice benches here to sit in the sun and uh, let our humongous tennis club dinner go down <laughs> <laughs> i think this is actually designed as a paddling pool there's steps down into it and even though it's january if i had my togs on i think i'd go in for a little dip <laughs> fancy it mandy uh no not for me thanks water temperature oh it's quite pleasant Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, well, you've got to mind your step here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brilliant. And the birds are bathing in the water. So nice. They're not now, obviously, because the camera's on. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, come on, little sparrows. You can do it. Really, really pretty. And the amazing thing is, there aren't many people around here. They're all like, near the monastery so this whole part of town is kind of quiet it's beautiful it's the site of Alcabasa I didn't know existed and I really do like it yeah nice little hidden gem coming down to the lower section look at this it's like a, a year round Christmas tree I think there must have been a cafe here which is unfortunately closed down over there in the distance is the Mini Presso. It's one of the best supermarkets in the middle of town. And we come around this way. It's the market over there. Lee's, oh, okay, he's relaxing on the exercise equipment. That's a good use for it. Working hard there, Lee. <laughs> Working hard on digesting lunch, thank you very much. Strange benches. <laughs> so I've just come back from my first shopping trip to Lidl. It was way on the other side of, uh, I don't know if you can see the buses in the distance, about another kilometer on from there. And I bought way more than I expected. It was so heavy to carry up the hill. I mean, look at it. In the left there, uh, two kilos of onions. I've got a kilo of carrots. I've got the delicious, oh my word, it's my favorite muesli from Lidl, 2 99 these nuts are on special, two thirty nine for Christmas. We love the oats, 69 cents. This stuff is delicious. I don't know exactly what it is. It's sort of like flavoring, delicious in like sauces and pastas and whatnot. 
We've got the usual Gordo UHT milk. Uh, this was on special. I'm not that much of a fan of Delta, but it was only €1.86, I think, for 100 grams. We love this bread, 59 cents, it's ever so tasty. And the amazing Greek yogurt, that was one uh, ninety nine. Here we have gorgeous Cassie, happy to see me again. And the beautiful Harvey, back to the shopping. And uh, on special, 99 cents for 150 grams. This is excellent uh, gorgonzola for, I think it's one euro 79. This cheese is on special, oh my gosh, it's ever so heavy. I think it was 2.39, I'll check that one later. And oh my word, I had to get three of these because we had them the other day, They're especially for Christmas, delicious. They were 79 cents each. Bananas, 95 cents a kilo. I've already mentioned the oats. Yep, the, oh my gosh, the carrots, 75 cents of healthiness. So all of that was, I think, 24 euros and 36 cents. And I'm gonna have a, a well-earned drink and enjoy this beautiful view. What I love about Portuguese Christmas is that bacalao is like the main feature. Like for us, it's Christmas, ham, turkey, but in Portugal, you have your bacalao, and then you have all your lovely frozen sweets. Ooh, they do look tasty. Love the look of these Superbok selection beers, like 1927. They're on special at the moment. There's the Bengal Amber Ale, IPA, sorry, Japanese Rice Lager, Munich Dunkel, and a Bavaria Weiss. Wow. So I'm here in front of Decathlon, and oh my word, a very sad day indeed. I'm going to chuck away my Monster High one euro bag that I bought in Tallinn from a second hand shop near the Balti Jamaturg. Here we go. And instead I'm replacing it with a two euro ninety five Quechua, Quechua bag from Decathlon, which will probably only last a year, but hey ho, it's like nice and smart. It goes on the back, it'll be good. So bye bye Monster High. Going in the bin.